Bohol is our third stop on our 40 day tour through the Philippines. We rented a scooter and hit the road seeing all of what the island had to offer. Yes, it was a bit touristy as Bohol is a well known destination, but stick around to the end and I'll show you an excursion not many people know about, but it's definitely a must do and was the highlight of our trip. Okay, let's get ready to hit the road. All right, not quite as early as we wanted to start today, but today is officially day one of exploring the island of Bohol. We have three things on the agenda today. Number one is to get to Chocolate Hill. Number two is to check out the cute little primates, nocturnal primates called Perziers at a sanctuary. And then the last one is a river cruise. So it's going to be a full day. It's going to be a hot day. Yeah. We wanted to head out by 7, but now it's looking closer to 8. <laughs> we are not warning people. It's hard it for sucks. us to get out. I wish we were. That's it. That's all we have to climb for the view. It's like a hundred steps. I said that's all we have to climb for the view, just a hundred steps or so. And then we should get a pretty awesome view of all these like hills. It's hot, huh? and you're on a concrete platform on top of a hill with zero shade and the sun is like beaming right above us. So I think that the hill is not made of chocolate because maybe melted. <laughs> wah, wah. Yeah. Beautiful view. It's kind of cool to see like just a jungle base layer with like little hills just popping out in the distance. Yeah. Definitely the view behind us is the best. Yeah. These ones are a little far. Oh little man, I'm melting. See you guys. And we're gonna go back down, probably find something to drink, some ice cold water, hopefully, to get off this melting hill. We're back down at the bottom of the hill. I'm not sure if we did it justice. It was just so hot, unbearably hot. Like, normally we can ignore it, and we just, both of us were just like, we can't. Like, oh, I couldn't, we couldn't even see our screens. We're just like, ah. So we tried to hold on as long as we could, and then we found a little shaded part that's a little lower. That part was really enjoyable. We sat there for a while, enjoyed the views there, but it is starting to get crowded. I think we beat the crowds maybe by 30, 40 minutes. We learned that these conical shaped mountains were originally coral reefs. Dead coral, dead coral reefs. Dead coral reefs that started about, Shell. they were underwater like two to three million years ago and they started forming a million years ago as the water started to get a little lower and this island formed. So that was, that was kind of cool. Yeah. I had no idea that this all dead coral underneath. We're going to go do a river cruise now. That's what the plan is. That's another 40 minute ish. Yeah. Table number one. All right, we got our tickets. Okay, it's a uh, river cruise and it includes lunch. Boat nine, dock four. I love how organized it is. All right, let's go to boat nine. Have ourselves a nice lunch on the Low Bulk River. Looks empty already. I wanted to start off slow. Chicken, a chicken drumstick with the gravy, some beef stew type of thing. 
I did have a pork skewer. I ate it. It's really good. And then I got like fried rice, which is also really yummy. Starting off the pork skewer. I got a whole spread of stuff. All Hunter and I were trying to hold out. And we did a little too long because we knew we wanted to have lunch here on the boat. So we we're like, we don't want to eat too close before coming here for this little boat tour on the Lobach, Lobach River. But both of us are starving. And I loaded my plate down. We got some rice, some white bright rice, and some brown rice. And noodles, I see. <laughs> and noodles, and beef, and chicken, and a pork skewer, and I'm not sure what this is. I got it too, it's good. I don't know what it is though. I don't know, it's delicious though. We haven't left dock yet, but we're gonna eat and then enjoy some, some views. Tries to sneak it at the at the best time while we're all distracted. Got some sticky rice with coconut, some coffee jelly. Me too. I couldn't see the sign. So, so like one of each. There's a couple I didn't grab. It's good. So bomb. It has like this middle stuff. I don't know what it is. It's light. I just had that right now and it's so freaking good. Have your jelly. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't have a spoon. I'm stuck. I'm stuck, but I'm still gonna have my coffee jelly. Mm. That's good. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Little jellies with the coffee and the coffee. Now have a bite of this. Sticky rice. Mm -hmm. Coconut sticky rice with ginger. Mmm. The desserts are on point here. Yeah, they are. We just finished having a very heavy lunch. Now we're having dessert. These are freaking amazing. And we saw a little bit of traditional dancing. With the sticks. Hopping over the sticks and a couple of the guests here tried it. As much as I ate, I would just dare out and vomit it everywhere. Somebody dunk it in the water. The music's a bit central. I prefer a little bit more upbeat, but. I know. I'm like, take your pants off, put them on the bed. <laughs> Sit down and take a nap. Oh, you can do that too. Yeah, I prefer a little bit more upbeat stuff, but they keep playing like central music. It's kind of weird. Nice tour, it was about an hour long. So our lady had a really pretty voice. So she played a lot of uh, thank you. She played a lot of uh, soft songs, but at least she sounded really good doing it. Very nice, beautiful. So many people having fun and dancing and stuff. It's good energy. My favorite, which I did not catch on camera, was just the kids. Yeah. Playing in the water. So cute. Yeah. Doing the YMCA they're showing, and then they're, they're doing their, their tricks. Flips. Yeah, their backflips and stuff. Food was pretty good. Yeah. I thought it was pretty darn good. Yeah. 
and, and the dessert was delicious. Alejandra got two servings of dessert, so she got her money's worth. <laughs> I love dessert. Yeah, you do. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to hop back on the scooter. We have another like 30 minute scooter ride to the last stop today. And that is to check out those little nocturnal primates. Yeah. With the big eyes. Hopefully I get a couple good shots. I'm excited. Tarzir. They're really cute. They're so cute. They look like monkey owls. Yeah, they have like long fingers. Oops, this is a oh, that's it. Little long fingers and they can twist their head 180 like an owl, which is really cool to see. They got big old bug eyes like they Alejandra. Got big old bug eyes like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had to be quiet there. You can't really talk that much because they're nocturnal, nocturnal, so they're trying to rest. The guy told us there's an estimated 200 in the sanctuary, but only three can be seen today. They spotted six this morning, but three have disappeared into the forest. So pretty lucky to see three different ones right now. Yeah. The so second cool. one moved a little bit and looked uh -huh. at us and we got a halfway decent photo. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's sweet. And the other two were resting. So yeah. I just kind of took a video of pictures of them just sleeping in a tree. They're so small though. Tiny. And now it's freaking hot and we need much needed AC and rest so we're headed back officially to our hotel. Today is day two exploring Bohol and we're not doing any exploring at all. We found an awesome place to just lounge on the beach that has cabanas, little chairs, tables, and even food and a full bar if you want. And it's really, really peaceful and it's nice to take a break from tanning every day like we were in Sikajor. You know, we just mostly been in the shade enjoying awesome views. There's not a cloud in the sky. Well, there's a couple, but it's such a great day and it's a much different being in the shade underneath a cabana with water than it is on the scooter yesterday totally exposed from the sun we were just so hot when we got back to the hotel room we couldn't wait for ac but today's a little different it just feels nice and peaceful and chill the name of the place well it has two names so the newest name is called oceanica resort and the old name is called south palm on google it's still called south palm there's no fee to get in and they don't even pressure you to buy stuff. We were super willing to buy a drink or two or even an appetizer, but no one's come around to bug us, so we're just kind of just soaking in the views. And the sand is really, really nice here as well. So They clean it, look. Yeah, I saw that. Check it out, they're cleaning the sand right now. That's pretty much it for day two, is just hanging out on the beach, relaxing, maybe having a cocktail or two later. We have not had any like Filipino food in this area. It's pretty darn touristy. So we had shawarma, we've had tacos. <laughs> uh, oh, we had one. We had Jollibee. That's. Well, yeah, we had Jollibee, which is their fast food joint. Yeah. So not, this that's is definitely cool. not going to be like our typical food vlogs because it's all just kind of international food. <laughs> but yeah, with that said, day two is going to be lounging. Day three, exploring Bohol Island. It's around 1 p.m. and we're waiting for our tour group to pick us up, Kayak Asia. 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out some mangroves and see some fireflies later on tonight. There's also a dinner included and it's an all day thing. We're gonna go all the way until 8 p.m. And hopefully we learn a thing or two, which I think we will, and see a bunch of fireflies. Let's go. In we go. How are you? Yeah. So it's about an hour ride to the kayak station. <laughs> so in my company in Kayak Asia, we only using kayak because we are promoting an eco-friendly. Yeah. Because if you observe, kayak no more songs, right. no more fumes, and no more big yeah. So we could not destroy the nature, especially to the park life. Uh -huh. Because we only use the human power. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's why it's very hard, right? And also not so close. It's very hard to paddle. So let me sure I need to <laughs> pull the upper arm, push. <laughs> Forward then back. Okay, good. The pushing power. He's my pushing power. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We're ready. We're all geared up. We're ready to hit the waters. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Goal one is to not capsize. Getting in. Nice. Like this. Oops. Thank you. You ready? Bye bye. Bye. Okay. So we're headed out now. We're on the river, and. Total distance will be seven, three and a half there, three and a half back. That'll complete the first part of the journey here through the mangroves. Uh, later on tonight, we have a couple more kilometers to do to check out the fireflies. All in total, he said, I think 10? 10, 10 to 12. 10 to 12, thank you, kilometers of kayaking. So we're gonna have to be efficient. We're gonna get a good workout in today. I think we're gonna have a good time. I think because of our experience, I don't think it's gonna be too difficult. Are using material for using the roof of the houses. Ah. So oh. the one. This is also what we call as a sustainable resources. Yeah. Why? Right, no need to plant. Because if you observe, example today we're doing harvest, right? Yeah. After three months, we have another piece of plants come out. Ah. Only so, three months. So it just yeah, that's regenerates itself. Regenerates itself. Yeah. Wow. No need to... Oh, this one. Ah. Fruit of the napo palms. Nice. <laughs> A frontliner? Frontliner? What is that? What is that? It means uh, they're the one who will take about this Local oysters. Oh, I see it. I see one. Oh, yeah, it does look so like that, a. It's not for the human. <laughs> Don't eat the fruit off the tabiki plant. It's a big no no. It's so peaceful out here. Like, it's insane because it's kind of chaotic in town. And out here, we're the only people out on boat out here. Like there's no fishermen even, there's nothing. It's kind of weird, right? Yeah. But I love it. We are in an area of century old mangroves. This area has been protected for that long. And it's just gorgeous. That's why mangrove is a very, very important. We're the one who's protecting the ecosystem, especially the carbon dioxide and the climate change. Yeah. yeah, that's why in my company, that's why we, we try a lot to plant a lot of mangroves because we are protecting a lot of the climate change. slowly working our way back. Oh, I'm just doing almost all the work. Usually I do all the work, but I'm doing all the talking. Look at her go. She's, I'm waiting for her to crash into something and ask for help, but she just won't do it. <laughs> Let's see this part here. We got some sticks and a current and a turn. 
Can she do it? Dang, look at you. Done. Done. I should never doubt you, huh? <laughs> Moral of the story. Women can do everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Besides open up a jar. I still need you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I got one thing left on my list. A lot of these plants bear fruit, but all of them are toxic to humans. <laughs> like, oh, can you eat that? No, don't eat that. Oh, that's only for bats. Oh, can you eat that? No, that's only for rats. rats. They have bats and rats. Water rats. What and well, there was some, yeah, mangrove rats. Mangrove. It says they look more like hamsters. Okay, we just finished our last mangrove and we're headed back to Kayak Asia to have some Filipino snacks before we head out again to check out some fireflies. Did you spray yourself? Yeah, a little bit. You gotta spray yourself. This uh, buggy is heck right here. Uh, uh, I am hungry. I'm starving right now. Two hours of kayaking. My last bud has a banana in it. Yeah, I thought it was a Lunka bud. It is, yeah. with banana. Yeah. That's a little bit. Yeah. I like it. Lumpia with banana in it. Oh, yeah. You know, I like my fried bananas. I've tried them in every country. Mm -hmm. This is a different one now. I like it. It's mm -hmm. subtle, but it's delicious. Yeah, it's so good. Sweet oh, and wow. fried? Come on now. Can't go wrong. Come on. The bananas are really good. The noodles are nice and hot, too. Mm. Ooh, those are good. That's good. This is a Filipino snack right here. Mm -hmm. This is a good snack. We have a snack now and then dinner later. And if dinner's anything like snacks, it's gonna be freaking delicious. Yeah, this is really good. There are two companies they are using motor boots. Also looking firefly later on. For your safety, don't stay in the middle, always stay in the side. Time to hit the waters again. Had a small snack, and now we're gonna go catch us some fireflies. Take them home. <laughs> yeah. We are kayaking in like almost total darkness right now. Getting, getting to the point where uh, the fireflies are at. So it's two kilometers is the end point and then two kilometers back. So we're gonna go two kilometers to a waterfall area and then hang out, slowly work our way back. And that's where the firefly should be. So right now we're just kayaking, trying to get to that end point. A little bit more boat activity at night. So we have to be more careful. We have to hug the right side uh, because it's, they can't really see us, right? Because they're such big boats. And we're a tiny little kayak, so. Stay on the right side, that's the rule. And soon he'll start flashing his infrared light so we can keep an eye on him because we're just about out of sunlight. I just saw a fish jump out. Hello. They're all fishing. Spear fishing in the dark. Look at that. That's What do we got for dinner? Pumpkin soup, which is really good. Rice, adobo, chicken, and chicken and tomato sauce with potatoes and carrots. Mm. All right, we're ready to eat now. They know what they're doing here. 
Great cooks. Uh-huh. Even our snack was really good. Oh, the banana things. Banana lupus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we still have an hour left to go back into town. I know. I'm dreading that. We have a ferry to catch at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, which means we have to leave at 4.45 because there's so much traffic. Because there's like a swine flu going on, so there's only one flow of traffic per bridge. We gotta leave with plenty of time just in case they stop every single car. You just never know. I think this tour is definitely worth it. It was awesome. I learned a lot. And if you feel like taking a break from just lounging on the beach after beach in the Philippines, I think it's great to get some exercise. It was four hours kayaking, which is kind of a lot. It's really at your own pace. They're not. There's no rush, so you can go slow the entire time. I love the fireflies, but the mangrove thing was pretty cool. Yeah, I think so too. Way cooler than I thought it was going to be. But it's nice to be out in the mangroves when there's sunlight and watching the sun starting to go down mm -hmm. as it bleeds through the trees and stuff. Versus at night in the fireflies, you have little to no daylight left mm -hmm. before you head out. Yeah. Bring mosquito spray. It's necessary. Mm -hmm. If not, you're going to get bit. Tomorrow we head out to a new spot, a place with waves, a place with surf, which is a first. Since our tour through Asia, we've seen lots of bodies of water, but no surf. So that'll be fun. We might even do some surf lessons. We'll see. 